So the other day, I was scrolling through shorts on YouTube, and I saw one that was talking about Jesus saying that he can't do anything alone. And the, the reason why, well, one, it's so hard to understand is because most people don't have a working part of their mind that's supposed to be able to connect with the Creator's consciousness as part of our own consciousness. When we live our lives with the Creator connected to us, everything we do, we do with God. It's part of our mind and it's part of what helps us make decisions so that we know what we're doing and we do the right thing. When we have that part of ourselves disconnected, we become unable to function properly because all we're left with is our emotional reflexive desires and wants and they they are destructive on their own without the guidance of the creator within us it's it's literally having a kind of brain damage it's caused by suffering it's caused by uh, and it's not just suffering, but when you lose that connection with the Creator, it feels like God's abandoned you. It feels like God has gone silent because most people who have that connection, they don't understand why people would make other people suffer. But the people who go around rescuing everyone from being misled in false religions and cults are usually the ones that end up causing people to disconnect from God because they themselves do those things because they're disconnected from God because when you're connected to God you don't do those things when you're connected to God it doesn't take much effort to put the effort in to understand and to know that you don't understand things because you actually know you don't understand things you're not just relying on your ignorance as some form of wisdom like a lot of supposedly educated people because we are led by people who don't have a connection to the creator and they live their own hedonistic version of reality there are no good guys when you're raised in an enslaved, lost culture, no one does good. It becomes so bad that in order to, good, to do good, you have to do nothing. Because then at least you won't be doing bad. But people who do nothing aren't doing what they're told by the people who run everything. And the people pardon me, the people who run everything, they're not the ones at the top. They're anyone who pushes others to obey, that judge others for not obeying. And it can be anybody from the bottom to the top. There are people everywhere from the bottom to the top making sure everyone does what they're supposed to do to be a productive member of the brothel casino economy. If you don't do what you're supposed to do, then you're considered evil. It's a lot of the reason why uh, our, the leadership at the top have a habit of being Nazis because their science and their judgments tell them that if God liked you, you would do well, and if God hates you, then you do badly. And they believe that if they can do better than others, that means God loves them, even though they don't believe in God. But that's how they get people to follow them with their false leadership in false religions. We're, we're dominated by religions that have been co-opted by enslavers and exploiters that have turned them into cults. So they might look and sound the same as a real religion, but they're not. They're just an excuse to get rid of other people that don't go along with things. 
and even within that culture they will get rid of people who don't conform to what they consider good which is just like farm breeding uh, uh, being uh, a productive product to the to the economy it has absolutely nothing to do with being good so they will find a way to tie you into their culture any way that they can and they'll call it saving you from being a primitive or being lost and such but uh, but they're just dragging everybody down into their hells because everybody loves their hell you know you try to warn people about the hell that they've fallen into and that they help maintain you know prostitution and all of the culture that surrounds prostitution all the criminal culture the corruption culture the suffering cults all surrounding prostitution to to make those within it feel better in any way that they can so that they keep producing product for their economy again it has absolutely nothing to do with being good or, or bad in an ethical sense because they've translated ethics into being that which maintains their culture and economy so they'll make sure everything else fails so that they succeed and if they actually have to face competition they will do anything to destroy the competition the only time they want fair competition is when people have to compete with them. So people can't do anything that they must to overcome the competition with those who rule, with the, uh, with the sex trade culture. But the sex trade culture can do anything that they want because they'll scream victim as soon as anything is done that makes them feel threatened, which doesn't even have to be real you know so and then they end up creating the evil that they claim to be being persecuted by and then they package it in propaganda and in gossip and stories so that people will go along with it and be unable to know the truth because within the enslaved culture everyone's so overwhelmed by what they're forced to endure by those who rule and again the rulers are your peers sometimes yourself I used to be a house n-word I used to believe all sorts of stupid shit but it went right along with what the slave masters you know the culture of the slavery go along with I would still point out things that they were doing wrong but I didn't know they were doing it on purpose, you know, because they don't tell everybody what they're doing, because you're supposed to just go along with what they're doing on faith, because they stand in the place of God. They stand in the place of God, and if you don't worship the reality that they want to exist, then you're the enemy and need to be destroyed. And that's what's going on today it's just a continuation of what's been going on for millennia thousands of years thousands of years we're obsessed with our the results of our slavery nature we believe it's progress but they they, they could never be more wrong we're we're getting to the point where reality will wipe us out just because we aren't strong enough to survive it the way we're supposed to in every single way mentally spiritually physically we've bred ourselves to be weak and godless and pretty much hopeless but uh but thankfully within us god exists and god's always trying to rescue us because God being within us, God is rescuing himself. It's something the false religions can't wrap their head around. The actuality, the reality of God. Because they've made up too much that if they go against it, everybody that they've enslaved will start doing something else. So, good luck everybody. It's complicated and hard to explain and even harder to understand.